Coming up on this week's Jaguar Week in Review, we visit with the BBE FFA to learn about this year's opening of their Garden Center. And in this week's sports, we talk to members of the baseball team to see how their season is going so far and discuss how baseball has impacted them. We'll have these stories and more coming up. The Jaguar Week in Review starts now. And welcome to the Jaguar Week in Review for this week. I'm Cody Bertram and thanks for joining us. We start today with news. The Powerade Athlete of the Year Award is an award given to 10 student athletes who have been recognized within their schools for their community and extracurricular involvement. This year, BBE's own Adam Yeager was nominated for the award. You can show your support for Adam by voting on the Viking Coca-Cola website at the link in the video description. You can vote each day at both work and home. Voting runs through May 6th and everyone is encouraged to vote. Those who have passed the Classroom Drivers Ed program this past year and have their permit are encouraged, to, are encouraged to register for Behind the Wheel Driving this summer. Students who will turn 16 by May 2019 should sign up quickly, as driving times are first come, first serve. Expect to drive during the summer because times from September through May are not guaranteed. The cost for this program will be $180, and if you are interested in registering, call 320-346-2278. The 5th and 6th graders will have their spring concert next Wednesday at the BBE Elementary Gym from 2.30 to 3.30. The community is invited to attend their performance. Today, Friday, May 4th, BBE will have their Senior High fair, Health Fair at the high school from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Those who attend will get the opportunity to preview area businesses and see what is available throughout the community. Admission is free as well as lunch. Many door prizes will also be available. And finally, the third graders will have a field trip to Little Falls next Thursday from 8.30 to 2.30. Now let's move into this week's check-in. This week, reporter Brady Nelson visited the FFA to learn about the BBE Garden Center. With the warm temperatures we have been having over the past two weeks, the grass has started to turn green and the spring is upon us. This warm weather has allowed the BBE FFA Garden Center to begin setting up this week. Well, this week we've been working pretty hard on the garden center. Uh, we've put up the whole greenhouse and we've been organizing plants and putting prices on them, getting them ready for the big sales. Mother's Day is coming up. Hopefully have a lot of people buying flowers for their moms. And students work hard to make sure all the flowers and plants were organized. Through their, all of their hard work, the garden center will be open today. The FFA Garden Center should be opening up this Friday. We plan on getting a lot of the flowers in on Thursday. So we should, should be set up and ready to go on Friday. Um, there'll be lots of hanging baskets for Mother's Day. The vegetables, a lot of that stuff the kids have planted here at school. Um, most of the flowers we purchased due to not having enough light. But we should be ready to go. Garden Center will be open from weekdays from 12 to 6 and Saturday from 9 to 3. And runs through the end of May. Big check-in, I'm Brady Nelson. And we hope to see you purchasing flowers and plants at the Garden Center. As we move into May, the baseball team has been active for the past two weeks with a large number of games still to come. This week, reporter Riley Lenars talked to a few members of the baseball team to get their thoughts on how their season has been going so far. The BBE baseball team has had its second straight week of games after the very slow start to the season. Senior shortstop Ryan Ilias and the rest of the team are looking to have a strong season this year. We're off to uh, probably a 500 record. It's been pretty fun so far. The coach of this year's BBE Baseball and Varsity team is Pat Ilias, who also happens to be Ryan's dad. So there's no doubt that baseball has been a part of Ryan's life for a very long time. We've been playing since I was a little kid, and it's just always been a fun way to get outside with your friends. Jay Moore's baseball team has struggled so far this season, with the record sitting at 2-3. and three. Uh, Some of the challenges we face are having people in the right positions, um, trying to stay or trying to stay locked in the whole game. Our hitting is a little slow right now, but it'll come around, I think, and our pitching is not our defensively is kind of where we're struggling right now, too. The Jaguars will have many games coming up in the next couple of weeks due to their shortened schedule. Senior Adam Yeager explains how important it is to stay focused through every game. It teaches you how to like stay mentally focused for a long time. Seven innings can last up to two hours, so you have to stay locked in for two hours. Along with Ryan and Adam, senior Ben Schumann and the rest of the team has high goals for this year's squad. Uh, we really we have a lot of goals. Um, 
probably our biggest goal is just to get better every day. I mean, we're right now we're struggling, but we just got to keep getting better. Eventually getting good enough to maybe make a run in sections and make a run at the state tournament. In life, we all have an idea of what success means. But Ben reminds us that in baseball, success isn't always what it seems. Baseball is very challenging. I mean, even in the major leagues, you know, great hitters are three for ten. That's three out of every ten times they're successful. I mean, that's seven failures. It's hard, you know, it's not an easy sport. It's tough to be successful at it, in the field and at the play. These three seniors have had a ton of time to make their own memories through the sport of baseball. Playing at the Gopher Stadium my sophomore year. Two years ago, our playoff run. My favorite memory from baseball will always be Friday night games in Orosa. You know, it's fun to see community come out and support and under the lights Friday nights. It's, can't beat that. And we would like to congratulate the track team whose men 4x4 team beat the previous school record by five seconds this past week. And that is all we have for this week's episode. If you would like to catch our future episodes, be sure to subscribe to us at BBE Broadcasting on YouTube, iTunes, and the Google Play Store. We'll be taking next week off as we'll be working on the Jaguar Year in Review for 2017-2018. Thanks for watching, and for all of us here at BBE Broadcasting, have a great weekend.